body to buy one book. So this is a series genera connection. Three genera, you will connect the series genera like this. So the, in this case, I have a series P. So this is the uh, schematic diagram of the series genera A1, A2. And this is a, a real connection diagram. Series B, why we have the two times or the large cross in the area, and it gives a low resistance. So this is the CDP winding because the few times and it get a low resistance. So the CD generators are the period step used. We use a period step to control the body, to control the uh, magnetic flux. So this is the CD generator car are the state. When a low car is higher, over time the body will be as a higher and then that will be going down like this. So this is the regular body. And when the car is higher, our time in the body, it will be higher and it reaches some point. Application of the series generators are that the normal use for the general application. They use for the body booster in low DC supply and also the, they are using for the experimental work. So that we have to calculate. Calculate the generator voltage of the 240 volt DC series generators, which has an output of the 96 kilowatt. The CD freeze resistor is a quite 2 0 ohm and the armature resistor is quite 0 5 ohm. So this is the 240 volts are supply system here. And then we can call the VD240 volt power up with the 9 by 6 kilowatt. So that we call the CD freeze resistor so R M is a quite 2 ohm. So we calculate armature is a quite 0 5 ohm. So we calculate there's a generator board E G to VD plus IA2, IA plus RF. So we got the IA pro here, IL holding down. So I equal to IL, I equal to power by body, 96 zero by 240, you got a 40 MBR. Yeah. E is equal to 240 plus 40 plus a 525, you got the uh, 250 volt. So this is the way we got. The next one is the compound generator. Compound generator is a combination of the CD widening and the shan widening. So this is the compound generator. So in this case, the uh, A1, A2, the armature, E1, E2 is a shan uh, widen. Shan widen has uh, many tons of the cotton area given the high system. CD3 widen has a uh, few tons of the large cotton area given the low system. So that this is a compound generator diagram. So that this is a short shan compound generator. Left side is a right, and also the right short shan, left side is a long shan compound, right side is a short shan compound generator. Laoxia is a shan V winding is connected in series with the generator. But Shosha is a shan V winding and the army shan V and uh, shan V uh, for the Laoxia compound, army shan and the CD V are connected in series, then they are parallel with the shan V. But for the Shosha compound, First, these are army char and the shan are connected in parallel and they're connected in C with the uh, CV. So this is a long shan and short shan. The compound generator car are this case. So this is a regular car and regular body. They will compound. When the car increase, the body does not change too much. And also the over compound means the body will be the higher when the car is higher. Under compound means the uh, body will be lower when the car is uh, higher. So this is the characteristic of the uh, compound generator, they will compound, over compound eh, and under compound generators. Application of the compound generators, they use for the shipboat DC supply, crashing generators for the locomotives and DC generators for the aircraft. The level compounds are low close to the generator. Over compounds are low sound distance from the generator and other compounds are then not open use. So the, we use as an application of compound generator. Shipboats are, this is the services that we are using. They are also use the traction generators for the locomotives. This is general for the aircraft. Level compounds are low close to the generator. Over compounds are low the sound distance from the generator and another compound is not open use. We have to calculate. Calculate the generator voltage of the 240 volt DC compound generator which has an output of 120 kilowatt. The CD free resistance is a 5.05 ohm. The shaft free resistance is a 50 ohm. The armature resistance is 5.04 ohm. So that we connect supply voltage in 240 volt and shaft free and CD free. So the power output is 120 kilowatt. 
TDP 的现在挂一个挂哦，下面现在是个 PPO 啊，下面现在挂一个哦。所以 V 加个 E 级个了 ，VD plus IA 路 ，IA plus RS。所以 V I A pro here, I A and I A pro, I A got to power by body, so that to 500 R M B R, 120 you know what the value I do for you 500 M B R. I A is got to V Y R, you got to V Y P V got to 4 by A O M B R, then the I A got to I A but I A is 504 by H, so E is got to do what you plus 504 by A into 509 you got the ah 285 by 4 by 4. So this is easy to calculate. Then we have to do the predicate exercise. And this one is the DC motor. So this is a connect a DC motor. At the end of the this session, students should be able to state the basic operating principle of the motor, apply the framing like left hand rule for the motor, describe the back E and F and the is effect on the armature target, describe the motor effect and the door are associated with the electric motor, calculate the radius of body current and door association with the DC motor. In the generator, we use a force on the conductor and magnetic field to go through the current. In this case, the framing right hand for the generator. So the first fingers are indicated plus, and time indicated motion, and the middle finger indicated the current. So this is the framing right hand for the generator. In the model, we use a current in the conductor. We use a current in the conductor in magnetic field. In this case, are the, in the under the influence of the magnetic field, when the electric current flow, the motion will happen. So in this case, are the flat direction indicated by the first finger, middle sharp finger indicated current, and the motion indicated by the time. So this is the primitive hand move for the motor. The action of the DC motor and DC generator depends on the mutual or electromagnetic induction. The DC generator converts the magnetic energy to electric energy. DC motor converts the electric energy to magnetic energy. So this is for the plus current and the motion in the diagram. So in this case, are the Ah, so this is for this are now and so both. In this case, the current flow is a flow away. In this case, moment is a that direction. And also, the not to so both plus are flowing here current coming to what the rotation is a that direction. So those are the rotation of the DC motor current flow and magnetic flux. So that here you can see there's a rotation of the DC motor, electric current flow and flux direction. And motor direction. So this is you can also indicate in this one. This is a rotation of DC motor. DC motor moment depending on the flat direction, current direction, flat direction, current direction, motor will be moving. The magnitude of the force depends on the strength of the magnetic field. In this case, flat density is a DT slab. The current flowing in the conductor current is IMBR. And the length of the conductor in the magnetic field is less than L. So in this case, we can calculate F should be V I L. So in this case, V is the magnetic field intensity, I is the current, A is the length. So the force can be calculated V I L means that. Calculate the force are adding all a 200 millimeter less of the conductor carrying the 30 and V I L current at the right angle to the magnetic field of the white pole and this lab. What do we know is, we know there's a laser 200 millimeter current is 30 MBR plus density of 54 tesla. What do we want to know? Every BIL. So the 54 minus 30 minus 200 minus 10 power minus 3, you got the 254 newton. So in this case, this is what the noble and servo that many of us are firing. In this case, the conductor are moving is like this. The current are flowing like this, and this is the conductor are moving moving like this. So now. It can happen a weaker magnetic field and a stronger magnetic field, then that it can happen the both. So this is a uh, magnetic field direction, also current flow in the conductor, and you can see the indicate the weaker and the stronger magnetic field, and the motor will be rotating the direction. So this is for the direction principle of the uh, magnetic field, 
and current direction and the magnetic field around the current gradient quota da and the direction of the position of the weakened magnetic field and strength of magnetic field and the rotation of both. So this is the rotation with the direction. So this is a this standard force that depends on the quota In this case, a force and a radial multiply, you can calculate the torque. Torque can be calculated. So this is the torque of this rotation. Torque equal to force multiply radius. The new day is a new diameter. So the torque equal to V I L multiply R. P is a flat density. I is a current. A is a length of the quota. R is a radius. Where to calculate? A single loop armature widening on the DC motor has a diameter of 520 millimeter, a length of the 180 millimeter, and carries the current of the 15 MBR in a magnetic field of 1 by 1 Tesla. We need to keep mind the force developed on the one half of the loop, the torque developed on the one half of the loop, and the torque developed by the armature. What do we know? In this case, are the D is a 520 mm, A is a 180 mm, I is a 50 mm, V1 by 1 is last. And we're going to VIL, so the 1 by 1, 50 mm, Y1, A, you got the 2 by 9, 7 U. And the T is going to FR, so I is a 260 mm, so 2 by 9, 7, 2 by 6, you got the 0.7722 U. So this is what I thought. The top of the blow in the one side of the armature is also the blow on the other side. So that the total torque double on the army chart for one down of Y has a twice the double on the product. So this is the way that we calculate it. So T is a 2T1. So that, that will be a 1 by 4 U U diameter. So this is the way we calculate the torque. So in this case, I'm more practical approach to torque use a model output. This is a rotation at three. P equal to omega T. In this case, omega is 2 by MI6 T. And it's a revolution by making T is a torque. So the 2 by n is a rotation as we of the motor in radial per second. We need to calculate the torque approach by the motor, the approach and the output of the 4 by 2 kilowatt, output and 1100 RPM. So what we know is, P is a 4 by 2 kilowatt and it's a 1100 RPM. What do we want to know? P equal to 2 by n, T by the 60. You got a T equal to 60, T by 2 by n, so you can calculate 36 by cos in Newton meter. When the motor arms are rotated, it has a current in use into it by the generator action. So the generator EA offers the applied voltage. So the generator EA is called the counter of the EA VG. So this is a model acting as a generator, we can use a sun model. So this way the chat and the compound surprise us the inside the DC generator so, diagram. TI is a series of DC generator. And TI is chat and the compound. This is a crazy inside the machine, CD machine, chat machine and compound machine. So this is where we can draw the design. So the motor acting as a generator, we can use a model. So E G equal to K E into 5 M. In this case, our K E is a constant. In this case, the applied voltage is a larger than a generator voltage. The V is equal to I E I plus E G. So the armature current can be found. In this case, I will be minus E G divided by I E. For a given motor, torque is proportional to the plus 5. Armature current I E N. Element of machine construction, which is a constant in KD. So this is T equal to KD to 5A. P equal to omega T, 2 by N, T by 6 T, so it's called EGI A. So that 6 T, EGI A divided by 2 by N, so that EG equal to Z, B, 5 N by 6 A. So then we calculate it. So that will be the uh, Z, B, 5 A, 5, 2 by A, so that KD, I, A, and 5. The machine constant for the torque calculation already takes into the consideration. Number of OP, number of quantity Z, and they are passed through the magnetic field A. So the machine constant for the calculation is the generator body is not the same as the machine constant for the calculation torque. So E is equal to Z V5 and Y by CCA is so okay, equal to PZ by CCA. So then you calculate T equal to Z V5 IA by 2 by A, K D equal to PZ by 2 by A. So the CCKE equal to 2 by KD, so the PZ by A. Automatic torque control is the as a mechanical load increase, armature speed decrease. So the back EIR decrease, so the EG equal to KE5 and the EG decrease, so the, in this case, armature are current increase. Because of the I equal to BD minus EG by I. So then when the mechanical load increase, what happens is the armature speed decrease. 
per year has decreased, Amazon Garden has increased. Morato also increased because of the T equal to K5, KD5 IE. The Amazon Street will adjust its sales until there is a sufficient Amazon Garden IE to provide the necessary cost to drive the load or the machine store. We have to calculate the purpose of DC model has a thought machine constant of the 80, carries the Amazon Garden of 25 MBIN, operate with a P plus of the 0.01 CVU above. The amount of thought developed by the model. What do we know is N equal to 4 volt, K is equal to 80, I equal to 25A. So the 5 equal to 0.01C, we have our pole. What do we want to know T equal to KD5 IA? In this case, CC to 0.01C to 25, you got a 32 and you can be done. The divider thought developed by the model, if it has a load applied to such that the Amica current increases to 35 MBR. So the IA to 35 MBR, T equal to KD5 IA, so that 80 minus 0.01 say minus 35, you got a 44 by 8, you done with that. The next problem is 350 volt squarely excited model has an effective P plus on the 0.08 wavebar and operates at the speed of the 500 RPM. If the model has in the generation the machine cosine of the 50 and Amiga resistance of 0.250, we need to determine the back in and F, Amiga current and the double top. What do we know is we need to go to 350 volt. So this supply voltage is on every row, the RSAEG. So the 5 equal to 0.08 wave are N equal to 500 RPM, KE equal 15, R is a 0.0250. What do we want to know is that EG to KE and 5M, so the 15 into 0.08 500, EG is equal to 300 volt, I is equal to VD minus EG by R is a 6 wave V minus 300 by 0.25, you got a 200 MBR. The top of load, top is a 60 KE, 5IE by 2 by. So 60 minus 15 minus 0.08 minus 200 divided by 2 by, you got a 229 by Then you have to do that practical exercise. So this is a DC motor car, I said it was a This is about the premium left hand rule. Depending on the current flow and magnetic field plus direction, motor will be rotating. So in this case, the top means the current flow to what? Cross between the current flow away. So this is a magnetic field direction and the top. At the end of this session, students should be able to list three main types of the DC motor. The other circuit arrangement and the corner the various DC motor state the typical application for the types of the DC motor. Describe the operating characteristic of various types of the DC motor, the vast and direction of rotation of the DC motor. Calculate the value of body, current, and torque associated with the DC motor. DC motors are classified crossing with their pre winding connection. The same as the generator can be used with the same model. So this is a squarely excited DC motor. Now here is shunt DC motor, series DC motor, and a compound DC motor. This is a long shan compound and a short shan compound DC motor. Long shan and short shan compound DC motor. Generator, we use a four encoder data. So this is a premium right hand loop for the generator plus motion and the current. And motor, you use a premium right hand loop. The action of the DC motor and generator depend on the mutual electromagnetic induction. DC motors are generator converts and magnetic energy to electric energy. DC motor combat the electric energy to mechanic energy. Shell motor apply voltage VD constant, IF and phi are related constant. Low chain motor speed will change. Then B and F, back in will change because of the E G will KE and phi F. And Amica current IE will change and the tau will change. So IE will be divided by E by IE, T equal to KD phi A. Causing the speed to change back to original value. Shell motors are considered to be constant speed. 
ชาโมดาการาชิเรกูโลกิยาอานุจักการะโซเดซุเยเชาโมดาการาชิเรกชาโมดาการาชิเรออโรซาอานุจักการะเคยยิสบีวินอเชยตูมาร์ปาร์เ
IF and 2 MVR. So okay, then for I equal to I M minus I F, you got the 30 MVR is equal to B D minus I R A, then the 2 body minus 30 into the Y A you got a 2 1 6 4. Loss and efficiency, power in and power out. Machine 100% efficient is the power out is the same as a power in. And you're going to be out by BM. Then the loss and efficiency, but machine has a loss In this case, our power out will be the same as power in. Fish losses can be the fish and wide loss and iron and the iron loss. Those are the fish loss. Due to the construction and the physical carriage of the machine, fish losses can happen. The variable losses are the copper loss because of the depending on the I square R. Due to the operation of the machine, I square R losses are the copper loss. So therefore the power A minus are fish loss and the copper loss, then we got the power out. The power out is the efficiency can be calculated. In this case, our losses can be the iron, friction, windage, or the copper loss, so and equal to B out by B. Maximum efficiency all cars when the fish loss equal to variable loss. Rotational reverse. To reverse the direction of the rotation of the DC motor, the relationship between the magnetic fields and the magnetic free winding and the armature must be reversed. To reverse the direction of the rotation of the DC motor, the direction of the current flow in either the free winding or the armature must be reversed. So this is a CD motor the connection diagram here. The chain of the field and the chain of the armature. Chain motor, chain and the when the chain of the field, direction will be rotation. So that you can chain the Free winding or chain armature winding. Go back water. Chain the free or chain the armature. Then we have to do the very exercise. So this is a DC motor starting and specialist machine. DC motor are classified across with the RP winding connection. The same as the generator, we use the same motor. So this is a space laser inside the DC motor, CD motor, Xiang motor, and Kumbau motor. Long Xiang Kumbau, Xiao Xiang Kumbau machines. And this is the Xiang motor car, I say speed. Amisha, Amkare, Tor, Efficiency, and Speed Karalis, or DC Motor, Shia Motor. And this is a CD Motor that Karalis, Amisha, Kare, Efficiency, Speed, and the Tor. Then Kumba Motor Karalis, Rigger Body, Level Kumba, Full of Kare, Kuba Kumba, and Level Kumba, and the Kumba Direction. So this is a reverse, before the reverse, also the free of the chain of Kare, Motor Rotation can be changed. So you can change the free connection, or or the arm is our Motor rotation will be changed. Also, the losses, this is the losses of efficiency of diagram. Pressure, iron loss, cobalt loss, and the input power minus output power, efficiency power output by power input. At the end of this session, students should be able to explain the need for the current limited in the DC motor status. Calculate the value of starting resistance for a given DC motor, describe the construction of torch chip, double generator, servo motor, and a step up motor, explain the operating principle of techno generator, servo motor, and step up motor, and this is the application of the techno generator, servo motor, and step up motor. In this case, at the start of the, uh, at the motor armature current is a maximum, because the fact is zero at the start of motor armature current must be limited to protect the machine. Amateur car is usually limited to the 150 to uh, 200 percent of the full load. Calculate the resistance necessary to limit the starting car of the CMF go from our models to the 150 percent of the is a full load car. If it has a shan free resistance of the 100 to 200 ohm, the amateur resistance of 1 ohm and the rate of full load car of 23 MBR. So in this case, I think the shan free energy of the amateur car is shan free and the CDP winding supply voltage. And I is 150 percent of IE 1 by 5 into the 23, 24 by 5 MBR. I is equal to VD by RT so 600 by 1200 by 5 MBR. I is equal to IS minus IF so 34 by 5 minus 5 by 5 equal to 34 MBR. 
ไอ้เกณฑ์ดาเกเดซูเลซีอันดูไว้ตาดีโกดีกว่าเลยเจนไว้เซฟไว้เอ็มบีอาร์เอชกูอาร์เอดีไม่นะอาร์เอดีกว
Say four two five nine two four seven two. Here four two nine two four seven two, and those are the lesson of video, lesson video and notes are here. So you have to read through those are notes, and also read the lesson. Then you also continue the solar electric system. Solar electric system are pay four seventy three to four ninety. So do all the notes and also view the video and read the lesson. And also the great connected as from Nevada. So the page are four nine one to five o one. So then you have to view this are those are video. And also the energy efficient page in the side. So page five zero two to five two eight, and you have to view the whole lesson. Do the lesson and do the exercise. So those are the all the electrical engineering around the world electrical engineering lesson. So that you have to do it. Regarding the electrical trade, electrical trade two thousand twenty two, we go here and you also I also provide you with the programmable logic controller. If they go down. Programming logic controllers are here. We click as a programming logic controller. So here I give you the PSC dashboard. PSC dashboard you can make download. So it's got a menu dashboard. And also here you can see the PSC video. Those videos are the PSC full HR, basic PSC, cardiologies are also PSC programming, set and reset timer. PSC simulator, PSC program counter, chip register, and PSC instruction timer processor, as well as a SCADA system. SCADA is a system you can also download the notes. So this is a PSC list of that. Similarly, uh, we also provide with the tape user with a programmable logic controller. So he can use a PSC dashboard, PSC basic teaching type, and teaching type, and students are uh, assignment, students are uh, SCADA. So a uh, CTS card uh, and also project and also the I provide you with the PSC hardware and the software node and uh, really setting up all the PSC applicant application also the project control unit setup those are also provided so therefore that you also that uh, read through the programming logic controllers and that's end also that they are predicate also you can also do the appropriate uh, lesson and also video. Those are also provided for the programming logic controller.